Hello, welcome to this Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the screw tool. Now, I've seen it called many things in other programs like lathing and lofting, uh, but in this, you know, in, <laughs> in good old Blender, it's called screw. So, what do I need? Well, what I need to start with is an edge. So, what I'm going to do is just delete the cube as we always do, and then I'm going to add a cylinder in. Now the reason I'm doing a cylinder is because I want there to be an edge on one, uh, one of these axes, either X or Y, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's go into edit mode with tab and make sure I'm in edge mode and then select that edge. Then press Control I to invert your selection and then the delete key and delete edges. So we're left with this on its own. So that on its own isn't much good to me. Um, we're going to make a wine glass, so I want a reference. Uh, so let's add that. First of all, I'm going to go into the front view with the one key on the numpad and then orthographic mode with the five key. Yours may switch to orthographic automatically when you press one. I have it set to um, make me do it <laughs> in two steps. OK, so I want an, uh, a reference. So back into object mode, go add and then image and then reference. And somewhere around here uh, in my pictures folder, uh, I've got a glass. There it is. And if I double click on that, it will bring the glass in for me. Uh, it's a bit big uh, for what I want, or I could make the, uh, the edge bigger. Uh, but the other thing is it's really just a teensy you to be off center so with the image selected i'm going to press g and then uh i think x yep there we go and i'm just going to try and line that up with the center of the glass that will help in a little while right it's also too big of course so i'm going to press s and then i'm just going to scale it down until my edge is roughly the same size as the glass and that's taking it off center again. So let's press G and X. Oops, X. My X key is a bit sticky, so there we go. Right, so in the next section, what we're going to do is uh, trace out this shape. And uh, then we're going to use the screw to make a glass. So I shall talk to you there. Okay, first thing, I just want to move this uh, edge onto the zero point. So let's uh, make sure we've got N pressed. Well, let's have it selected first. Whoops, no, not that one. Uh, so press N to make sure your transforms are up. Let's press Tab to go into Edit. Just select the edge, and we want it to be on zero. So let's set Y to zero. There we go. Now it's in the right place. Okay, so one again to go into front. Uh, I've got it selected. It's difficult to see. Sorry about that. Uh, let's hide the picture for a second. And what I want to do is add some more points to this, some more vertices. We've got one at the top, one at the bottom. So if you right click on it and subdivide, and then just make sure you've got both selected again, right click and subdivide. Let's do that three times. That should give us a goodly amount of uh, geometry and then we'll unhide our picture and go into vertex mode by pressing the one key so the aim of the game is to outline this to get a a shape so what we'll do is we'll grab some of our vertices here i'm going to press g and just move them over there we go and then it's a bit of a uh, a bit of a pain, but we just need to move each of our vertices into place, and then try not to move <laughs> the view. Right, let's move that one into place. So you'll find that you need a little bit more geometry where there's a lot more curve, and if you need some more vertices, just select an edge, right click, and subdivide, and right click and subdivide again. And then if we go back to vertex mode, I should have some more vertices to use. So let's move the 
those into place. There we go. So I'm going to need a few more there. So let me press two to go into edge mode, select my edge, right click, subdivide, right click and subdivide. And then we'll move these into position. So G and move, G and move. There we go. Something like that. <clears throat> so with this long kind of elegant sort of straight part, we don't need quite so much. Um, we're going to get a little bit of a jagged shape, but um, the smoothing modifier we apply later, we'll sort that out. So let's just move those in there. And when you get to the end, I'm just going to oops, grab that and move it somewhere about there um, we could use another method so I'm at the end so now I can extrude my uh, vertices so I'll press E and then drag it out and position it there we go I'm just going to go one down there and then one back towards the middle I'm going to constrain this on X so it's at the same uh, height as the original and then drop it and then in the transform I'm going to set that, that coordinate for x to zero okay so that's tracing the basic shape um, in the next one we're going to add a little bit more to the shape because uh, I need an inner for this glass um, and then we'll go on to the screw modifier so I'll talk to you then Okay, so tracing the inner is the same as what we've just done on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to select that top vertex there at the end and press E. I'm going to press X to constrain and then just give it a little bit of thickness. And then E and I'm going to match each of these points down here. So you don't want to match them exactly. Um, you want to have them so that they're kind of turning a corner. So this one is more or less level but I've just left it a little bit upwards because we're angling down now and this one is going to switch an angle as well so I'm going to angle that one a little bit up this one's more or less straight so I'll make them kind of parallel similar there and now I've got to the inner I'm going to follow this little um, thickness here until I get to the center so one last one, E, move it over and then just set the value on X to zero so that it's you know, right at the center axis. OK, that's the uh, shape then. And what we can do now, just going to hide uh, our uh, image and press five to go back into perspective view because I forgot. Um, we're going to apply the screw modifier. So under add modifier, doesn't matter if we're in object mode or in edit mode it will work either way uh, so let's press screw there we go and now we have a pretty good wine glass shape there's a little bit to do in that the uh, the top is going to be very sharp uh, so we need, just need to add a few bevels to smooth some things out um, but before we do that we need to apply this screw modifier which we do need to be in edit mode for sorry object mode for so go back to object mode and then apply and that should have given us a mesh now so if i press tab there's our mesh and now it's a question of going in and just beveling to brace these lines so in edge mode I can press alt and click on those uh, edges shift alt click for the next one sorry let's do that again shift <laughs> not shift Alt click for the first one, shift alt click for the second, control B to bevel, drag it out. Uh, I've like two segments on these and maybe one millimeter. Mm, yeah, it's not scale, so let's try five millimeters. There we go. And then we want to do that along the bottom as well. So let's select that one. So alt uh, click first 
shift alt left click second control b to bevel and just give it a little bevel okay so now if we add a subdivision uh, modifier we'll see how the shape holds up so it's add modifier subdivision surface and it's not bad uh, but here i can now you know sculpt a little bit to make it a little bit nicer i think the stem is a little bit thin so in edge mode i'm going to alt click on the horizontal edge there and press s i'm just going to scale it up a little bit There we go. This down here I think has pulled up a little. If I press this little screen thing here, it will, it will show me. Um, so yeah, I think this might be a little high or need a brace. So I'm going to brace it. I'm going to Alt click to select the line, Control B, and then just give it a little bevel to brace there. There we go. And similarly here. Control B and brace. There we go. Let's turn the little screen back on. And I think that's a little better. Okay, so that's the screw tool. Uh, <laughs> you don't just have to make wine glasses out of it, of course. You can make anything you like. <laughs> you could do profiles for you know chair legs, banisters, um, spinning tops, anything that your brain can come up with. Uh, so I hope you found that useful and um, if you have any questions ask me below and I'll talk to you in another video. Talk soon.